Hi, I'm Mary Caton, a sports writer with the Windsor Star, and we're here today with uh, Dan DeMarco, director of the Jameson Junior Golf Tour. Uh, registration for this season just wrapped up uh, last weekend, and qualifying days this coming weekend. That's right. So could you tell us a little bit about the final numbers, uh, Dan, and some of the new uh, wrinkles to the tour this year? Well, we have about 130 registrants, including those that earned their exemption last year. Um, just starting last year, we created a new division called the Collegiate Division, and these are for graduating juniors between the ages of 19 and 22. So we'll have qualifying both for the Collegiate and the Junior taking place at Fox Glen this weekend. Okay. And uh, now the 2013 champions, two exceptional golfers, Bryce Yvonne, who's wrapping up his uh, freshman year at University of uh, Michigan, right. and Alyssa Getty, who's just committed to University of Nevada, Las Vegas. That's right. Uh, what's their status for this year? Bryce will be coming back. Okay. And uh, he'll certainly be the favorite in the junior division because he's still eligible, uh, despite the fact he's in college wow. now. Uh, Alyssa will not be coming back. Oh, Alyssa's okay. got a very busy schedule this year with Team Ontario, and, and we're, we're glad to see her progress. You know, the whole idea of our tour is to be an entry-level tour to help some of our best juniors move on to other opportunities, and that's what Alyssa is doing this year, although we hope to see her maybe at one event as a guest. Yeah, that would be great. Yeah. And uh, tell us a little bit about uh, how the field is shaping up for uh, this season. It looked, I was looking at the exemption list, and it seems like a lot of the top golfers, virtually all of them, are eligible to come back again yeah, this year. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, it's going to be very competitive. As we mentioned, you know, Bryce on the boys' side will be certainly, uh, in my mind, the favorite, but um, there will be some other returning golfers that are right up there. Um, Zach Gervais is uh, one name that comes to mind. Um, Thomas DeMarco. There's a few others that will be there on Bryce's uh, yeah. heels, hoping that uh, he they, he gives yes. them the opportunity. Yeah. How about on the girls' side? Without Alyssa back, it kind of leaves the door wide open. It does. It does. Um, I think uh, Megan Shower will be one of the competitive golfers. Um, let's see who else do we have on the girls' side. Uh, there's Sarah Holland. Sarah Holland. Is yes. Laura Martin? And uh, Laura Martin has graduated, so she's oh, up to okay. the collegiate. And Emily Statter, for sure. Oh, Emily Statter, yeah, yeah another good yeah. one. So there'll be at least three or four there who will be uh, competing, you know, event to event. Oh, that'll be fun to see because we've had some kind of uh, dominating golfers the last That's few right. years. That's right. I think it's more wide open than it's ever been on the girls' side, uh, certainly in recent memory anyways. Now tell us uh, about uh, some of the changes for the tour this year. We, you mentioned the collegiate division. I think that's going up a couple events to eight. Right. And uh, what are some of the other exciting things on tap? We were talking earlier about the AJGA. And right. Um, the AJGA is the American Junior Golf Association. It's based in the U.S., but it's really recognized as the premier junior tour in the world. And it's where all the aspiring collegiate golfers want to play. Because it is so well regarded, you can't just sign up to play. You have to earn your way onto the tour like many other tours. So we are working with... Um, something called the Junior Golf Scoreboard, any AJGA, to try to get recognition for a couple of our events this year, which would allow the, the winners and perhaps uh, the top two or three to earn points towards getting into an American Junior Golf Association event. I know that's uh, coveted by all your top golfers, so Absolutely. I'm sure that'll be a popular, popular four events for you on, yeah. the, on the calendar. Yeah. And other good news on the sponsorship front. Yes, uh, Jameson has extended their sponsorship another three years. Wow. So we thank them very much. The tour couldn't run without them. And so we're good through the end of 2017 now. So we really appreciate their support. That's fantastic. Well, the first event is June 14th at Blenheim. So we look forward to an exciting season from the best junior golfers in Essex and Kent. Thanks again for joining us today, Dan. Thank you, Mary.